For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I wanted to show you how you can use CircuitPython.org to get the absolute newest cut of CircuitPython. And I think it's pretty appropriate to show this on this brand new Feather RP2350 because things are changing rapidly. You may have bugs or limitations that are changing on an almost daily basis. So sometimes it's fun to stay up with the most current version of CircuitPython rather than waiting for betas or releases. So here is how you can do that. We're going to head to circuitpython.org. Then up at the top in this uh, sort of second menu section, you can click on downloads. That will take you to selecting your board. So we're going to pick a board if we don't see it just showing up right at, right at the top there. Uh, so I'm going to do feather RP2350. You'll see the board shows up. It's actually a green uh, prototype version. So I'll click on that. Now, you may be used to the first couple of big purple buttons over here on the right, which are download the UF2 now. So that'll get 9.2.0 beta 0. That happens in this case of this board to be sort of the release one. For other boards, you usually won't see a beta at the top. Uh, then if we uh, scroll down, often that beta will show up, but in this case, this one's so new that we can head right here to absolute newest. And this says browse S3, that's Amazon S3 as our storage, our cloud storage for all of these builds of the uh, UF2 and binary that we want. So I'm gonna click on that link. It's gonna take me to a directory structure here and here you can pick the language you want to use. So I'm going to use English US, uh, but you can see we have a whole bunch of other options here that are automatically built. So I'll click on English US, uh, and then I'm going to scroll just sideways a little so you can see the full name there. Uh, here you can see I've got these uh, time-stamped builds. So these are happening every few hours, it seems. Uh, and this, this one on the top here is the one I'm going to grab. So that says Adafruit CircuitPython. Uh, followed by the name of the board, Adafruit Feather RP2350, the language, English US, uh, the date here, 2024, October 1st, so this was built last built a couple of days ago, uh, and then the PR number for that, so the exact uh, version of this this is, and then this is a UF2. So when I click on that, that's going to download uh, to my machine, and then I can go and click on uh, the reset and boot buttons to put this board into a bootloader. Before I do that, I'm going to head back to a uh, code view here where I can just take a look at the boot out text that's on my board currently. So for this board right here, it says we're running 9.2.0 beta 0. Okay, that's good. Uh, now what I'm going to do is put this into the bootloader mode and I'm going to drag that UF2 file onto this. You won't see that on screen. I just don't have a, a window visible, uh, but this will be this, this newest, absolute newest that I put on there. Uh, so that'll take about a minute. So it's uploading to the board. It says uh, zero bytes of 1.6 megabytes, estimated time remaining. And then it's just gonna take however long it's gonna take here. So I'll wait on that. Uh, okay, so it just finished. And then I can close. I'm gonna reopen the boot out dot text that lives on the feather board. And now you can see we're running this, instead of beta 2, we're running this uh, much more recent one that I've just downloaded. So these are all uh, uh, versions of this, but they have their own release numbers. Uh, so that is how you can head to circuitpython.org and download from S3 the absolute newest cut of CircuitPython. And that is CircuitPython Parsec.